I'm sure we've all seen different tools that are very similar, but they have small differences in their application. For instance, a paintbrush and a paint roller, they're both for painting, but sometimes the job is better for a paintbrush and sometimes the job is better for a roller. It all depends on the situation. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the difference between a scorecard and a scoreboard. And for more fun, we're gonna be talking about dashboards as well. Welcome to Growth Amplifiers, where we showcase the best tips, resources, and tools to amplify and scale your business. So first, let's talk about a scorecard. Now a scorecard tracks metrics through time. You need identifying the metrics that you wanna measure, you're tracking in through time. You may have multiple metrics that you're measuring and this can help you tell a story. It could help you identify bottlenecks. It could help you track your progress on achieving goals. It can help improve the performance of a team. That's kind of the benefit of using a scorecard. Typically you're tracking a lot of different metrics in this one tool. They're best when they're being regularly updated when you're using them to really stretch the performance of a team, moving them forward. I was working with an attorney who was trying to increase the lifetime value of a customer. And we talked about, well, if you're trying to increase the lifetime value of a customer, you've got to take new actions to achieve new results. I asked him how often did he reach out to his clients and his past clients and ask them how things were going in their business, how he could maybe be able to help them in different areas, if there were different challenges they were having or goals that they were trying to work on bringing into existence. He said, I really don't do that because if they had the need, they would ask me. I said, well, that might be what you're thinking, but a lot of the times they don't know what you know. They may not even know that they need some of your services. You're the business attorney. They're the business who's busy running their own business. They're not thinking about trademarks. They're not thinking about potential litigation. They're not thinking about protecting some of their assets. It's not a bad idea to reach out and just kind of connect with them and see if there's any way that you could provide value to them. So we defined he was going to do uh, past customer check-ins on a periodic basis. And believe it or not, when you do that, when you connect with people and offer to help them, some of them will take you up on that offer. It's a good thing. It's a positive thing. When you're there to serve, it comes back for you. So he was able to track those actions in a scorecard, able to increase the lifetime value of a customer because he was increasing the number of transactions per lifetime. How important do you think it is to use a scorecard in a business? Do you think it's very very important? Do you think it's not very important? Love to see that in the comments. Now that we've talked about score cards, let's talk about score board. Slightly different. Again, score cards looking at long term, maybe you're tracking a lot of different goals. A score board, you may be looking at one particular goal and it's more visual. Everyone can see it on a regular basis. It can also spark momentum when you're working on a goal against a time frame. It shows progress towards a goal and typically there's less data. It's just a visual representation towards the goal. For example, I was working with an advisory team and they were working on a program launch. They were trying to accomplish this launch before the busy tax season because once it gets in a tax season, their bandwidth just dwindles. They don't have a lot of time to be working on launching new products. So we had to track the percentage of completion of this project and its launch in a certain time frame. By defining the time frame, defining the things that needed to get accomplished in that time frame and enrolling the team, we were able to make sure that we were keeping up with the time so that we achieved a result by the due date before the tax season. This was visual, it was easily seen, and it made it fun. It's kind of like you've seen the thermometer when people are doing maybe a fundraiser. You see, all right, here's where we're trying to get to $10,000. Here's where we're at now, we're at zero. And as we start growing, you'll see the progress. And if you need to be at a certain level by a certain date, you'll know if you're on track or not. You can see here's where we're at with our time, here's where we're at with our performance. So if you can see if you're on schedule or not. So that's kind of a scoreboard. Looking at it, visual, determining your progress, not necessarily having all the metrics there. The metrics in a scorecard have their own benefit, but how much do you think scoreboards can affect the outcome? I'd love to see that in the comments. Do you think, hey, these things would really help improve performance or do you think it's meh? Love to see your thoughts. And finally, for fun, because some people use them in their business, we have dashboards. So dashboards are a little different tool as well. Imagine if you were driving a car 
car and you didn't have a dashboard that had all the important information in it. You didn't know what speed you were going. You didn't know how much gas you had. You didn't know if there was an issue with the temperature of the engine. You'd be probably in pretty big trouble in a relatively short amount of time. A dashboard can be crafted for a business so that the business owner or the business leaders can come in and look at the most important data within a quick glance. They can see the health of things. They could see if there's challenges arising. And it really is a helpful tool because if you don't have such a dashboard, chaos can be happening and you wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to see it really quickly because it wouldn't be in an easy to follow tool. So dashboards, again, they're visual. They can have all the important data in one place. It gives you a high level overview of the health of a business. It can track progress on goals. It can track your sales, your operations, whatever you'd like to put in it. Some people use a software, some people use spreadsheet. Question for you is, do you have software or a tool that you use for creating effective dashboards? Love to see what you share in the comments. It is time for the amplifier action. And I want you to review the tool or tools that you're using and to find one thing that you could do to strengthen or improve them when leading your team. Which one of these tools, by the way, do you believe is the most effective? Do you think it's the scorecard, the scoreboard, or the dashboard? Do you have a personal preference, a personal favorite? Love to see that in the comments. And in my next video, I'll be sharing how to elevate accountability in your team because it's great to give them tools, but we want to make sure they're using them to get the results that we define. Hope to see you then. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.